hello students uh, welcome to my youtube channel uh, today we are going to see a video lecture on the boundary layer theory uh, so in this lecture we are going to discuss the introduction to boundary layer theory a brief history about the boundary layer uh, boundary layer theory what is this theory factor affecting the boundary layer theory boundary layer structure and various thicknesses of the boundary layer so starting with the introduction the boundary layer theory is a remarkable theory which was given in 1904 by Ludwig Pandelt. He was a German uh, professor uh, who uh, presented a remarkable paper on this theory. Now, this theory plays a very important role in the field of fluid mechanics because uh, the various studies of aerodynamics, the uh, interaction between the surface and the fluid, all this has been explained. Uh, by this theory. One of the most important uh, aspect of this theory is the no slip condition, which exists in between a layer of the fluid which is always in contact with the surface. So, today we are going to discuss all this in detail. So, as we had discussed, a brief, uh, we are going to discuss a brief history of the boundary layer theory. So, this theory was given by Prandtl in 1904. Basically, in uh, here he had explained a fluid motion. With a very small friction exists between any surface and the fluid. He given the theory on a 2D flow and uh, derived the 2D boundary layer equations. Blasius, his student, uh, who is also a research uh, scholar under him, he had extended his theory uh, and he had uh, given the equation which is called as Prandtl Blasius equation, which we are going to see later on. In 1921, uh, Von Karman, uh, he had uh, taken this theory and he has proposed an uh, integral equation which is called as von Karman equation. Now, uh, what are the applications of this boundary layer theory? As we had discussed, the boundary layer theory finds a variety of application in the field of aerodynamics, during the design of airplane, rocket, projectile, etc. It has an intensive, intensive application in the hydrodynamic field, such as uh, doing the design of ships, submarines, torpedoes, etc., a wide application in the field of transportation, automobiles, trucks, wind engineering, ocean engineering, etc. Now, without wasting our time, we, we will quickly go through the boundary layer theory. Okay, so we know uh, what is boundary layer. First of all, we are we will discuss what is boundary layer. So boundary layer is it is nothing a thin layer of fluid which exists when uh, around any surface. So as per this theory, whenever there is an interaction between any fluid and any surface, and if the fluid is moving and surface is stationary or vice versa, in that case, a thin layer of fluid exists surrounding the surface where there is continuous variation in the fluid velocity. So as per the boundary layer theory, the velocity of fluid is zero at the boundary and it increases as mu move away from the boundary. So the velocity of this fluid inside the layer, it becomes equals to the fluid velocity on the extreme layer of the boundary layer. The portion which is outside the boundary layer has a high value of Reynolds number and the region in between the fluid surface, uh, in, in between the surface uh, inside the boundary layer this Reynolds number is continuously varying. So, <clears throat> quickly we are going to discuss <clears throat> the various uh, regimes or various regions inside the boundary layer. Now, in order to understand the boundary layer, we will take a simple, uh, simple uh, case of a flat plate. So, consider a flat plate and uh, consider a fluid with uh, the velocity u infinity it is flowing over the uh, thin plate <clears throat> so <clears throat> when this fluid will come in contact with the uh, fl uh, plate surface we know there is a no slip condition which exists and as per the no slip condition the layer of the fluid as the uh, surface is stationary so the layer of the fluid which is in contact with the surface it also becomes stationary so velocity is zero on the layer of the fluid which is just near the surface now as you move away from the surface the layer which will be above that layer 
its velocity will increase a little bit then as you move in the direction perpendicular to the surface this value of velocity it will continues goes on increasing so this region where the uh, velocity is continuously increasing from zero on the surface this region is called as bondy layer so as you move in the perpendicular direction to the surface the velocity of the fluid it will increase from zero on the surface it will increase increase and at a particular distance from the surface its value will become 99 percent of the free stream velocity so this region uh, up to which the velocity is continuously varying this region is called as boundary layer and outside the band boundary layer the velocity of the fluid is always constant and that equals to free stream velocity u infinity now so this region where there is a continuous variation in velocity in perpendicular direction to surface this layer is called as the boundary layer now this boundary layer is divided into three regimes they are laminar region transition region and turbulent region now as the name suggests in the laminar region the velocity of fluid is very low and in this region the viscosity is playing a very important role so because of this the, the all the layer of the fluid its uh, velocity will be varying parabolically and in this region the flow will be similar to laminar flow so this region is called as laminar region after the laminar region there is a particular distance from the leading edge x up to which the flow may be laminar the flow may be turbulent or we can say in this region the fluid, uh, flow it is transiting from laminar to turbulent flow so this region is called as transition region after the transition region there will be a region where the velocity of the fluid as you move away from the surface the velocity of the fluid it will be varying logarithmically and this region is called as turbulent region even in the turbulent region near the fluid surface uh, near the surface of the plate there will be a particular region where the flu flow is still laminar and that region is called as laminar sub layer region so in simple words a boundary layer or uh, whenever a fluid comes in contact with the surface there will be two regions inside the fluid one region will be the region where there is an effect of uh, viscosity and that region is nothing but the boundary layer region where the velocity of fluid is continuously increasing from zero on the surface up to 99 percent of the free stream velocity and this region is called as boundary layer region and outside this region the velocity of fluid is almost constant and that region is nothing but other than boundary layer region so there is always two regions which are existing whenever a flowing fluid comes in contact with any surface so after this we will quickly see what are the factors affecting the growth of boundary layer now we already seen the region inside the boundary layer they are classified as laminar region and turbulent region so the dimensionless number which specify the region as or specify the flow as laminar or turbulent so that dimensionless number itself is called as reynold number we already know reynold number is given by the product of velocity u uh, into distance from uh, the leading edge x divided by kinematic viscosity of the fluid nu so rex is ux upon nu now as uh, the flow inside the boundary layer it will depend on the reynold number and the reynold number will depend on the various factors such as distance x from the leading edge we know when the distance x is less the uh, type of flow was laminar flow and as the distance x is increasing the flow is translating from laminar to turbulent and finally the flow becomes turbulent so uh, we can say the Reynolds number is directly proportional to x okay so as the distance x in increases the type of flow inside the boundary layer it will change second will be the value of free stream velocity now we know more the value of free stream velocity the thickness of the uh, boundary layer will vary accordingly so the second parameter is free stream velocity and also we can say uh, see from the equation the Reynolds number is also directly proportional to x 
so more the value of velocity less will be the uh, uh, distance of uh, uh, less will be the thickness of laminar region and uh, quickly the flow will convert into turbulent flow then third is viscosity of the fluid now we know from this equation the Reynolds number is inversely proportional to viscosity of the fluid that means more the viscosity of the fluid less will be the uh, more will be the formation of bondy layer okay then last parameter is density of the fluid flow okay so these are the four parameters on which the growth of bondy layer it will depend okay uh, after this we are going to uh, see what are the different types of bondy layer thicknesses so first thickness we are going to see is uh, thickness we are going to see it is nominal thickness denoted by del so bondy layer thickness or nominal thickness it is simply defined as the distance perpendicular to the surface or it is a distance which is measured normal to the surface where the value of the velocity becomes equals to 99% of free stream velocity now we already know uh, whenever the fluid comes in contact with the surface the velocity of layer in contact with the surface it becomes zero due to no slip condition as and as you move away from the surface the value of this velocity it is increasing from 0% to 1% 100%, 10%, 20% and so on and at a particular distance y or at a particular distance del perpendicular to the surface the value of this velocity will become 99% of free stream velocity and after this distance the velocity is uniform and it equals to u infinity so this distance or this location or uh, the location of this point from the surface this distance is called as thickness of bondy layer or nominal thickness denoted by del okay so as we had seen the distance uh, or nominal thickness it is nothing but the distance perpendicular to the surface where the value of the velocity becomes 99 0.99 times the free stream velocity again uh, in this case the Reynolds number plays a very important role because this value of del it will also depends the uh, depend on the location of uh, the distance x from the leading edge so basically it will be zero uh, the nominal thickness will be zero on the uh, leading edge and this value will increase as you move away from the leading edge okay after that the thickness of boundary layer uh, in laminar flow now uh, the blaciers as we had discussed he was a student of Prandtl and he had does, done an intensive research on finding the thickness of this uh, bond layer. And according to Blaschius, the equation which he had given, it is the nominal thickness del of the bond layer equals to 5x upon under root of Reynolds number at a distance x. So it is 5x upon under root of Rex where x is nothing but it is a distance from leading edge. As we had discussed, when x equals to 0 so basically del equals to 0 that means the nominal thickness is 0 at the leading edge and as you move away from the leading edge the uh, thickness of the boundary layer in the laminar region it increases now this is uh, this equation is given only for laminar region uh, this uh, equation is given only for laminar region similarly he had given the equation which is applicable to turbulent region and according to him in the turbulent uh, uh, boundary layer region the prandtl blaschel equation is delta turbulent it, it equals to 0.377 x upon Reynolds number to the power 1 by pi u or it is one fifth root of Reynolds number so this equation is applicable for the value of Reynolds number more than the specific value for the turbulent region after that the next uh, thickness which we are going to discuss it is energy thickness so this energy thickness it is denoted sorry uh, the next thickness which we are going to uh, consider it is momentum thickness so this momentum thickness it is denoted by the greek symbol theta and the momentum thickness it is simply defined as the distance perpendicular to the surface by which the surface should be moved in order to compensate for the reduction in momentum of the flowing fluid due to bondy layer formation now we know uh, suppose 
the plate is absent and there is no uh, formation of bond layer so all the fluid or all the mass of the fluid it will be flowing with a velocity of u infinity okay uh, see this diagram now suppose in this diagram if this plate is absent if this plate is absent so all the fluid it will be flowing for this entire region with a velocity of u infinity but due to this presence of uh, this plate there is a formation of bond layer and due to formation of bond layer there will be a particular region this much region where the velocity of the fluid will be zero on this plate surface and it will be increasing uh, in normal direction so for all this region the value of the velocity u it is less than u infinity okay and on the layer it is 99 percent that means due to presence of bond layer the amount of flow or rate of flow or discharge in this region it is less as compared to absence of bond layer so if you understand this so you can understand the definition that the displacement thickness of the bond layer it is nothing but the uh, distance uh, perpendicular to the surface or in y direction by which the surface should be displaced okay now due to presence of bond layer there was a reduction in discharge and this reduction in discharge okay uh, it should be compensated by the distance y okay so the displacement thickness it is nothing but the thickness of the bond layer which should compensate for uh, the reduction in discharge due to bond layer formation so this uh, this thickness is called as uh, displacement thickness and it is given by del star after that next is momentum thickness momentum thickness it is nothing but the distance perpendicular to the surface okay by which the surface should be moved in order to compensate for the reduction in momentum of the flowing fluid. So this uh, is denoted by Greek symbol theta and it equals to integration 0 to del u by capital U into 1 minus u by capital U dy. Okay, after that the last thickness which we are going to see it is energy thickness. So the energy thickness it is the distance perpendicular to the surface by which the surface should be moved in order to compensate for the reduction in energy due to formation of bond layer okay so uh, all these three thickness displacement thickness momentum thickness nominal thickness and energy thickness we are going to discuss with derivation in our next lecture so thank you for this lecture